I'm totally in love with my job. I'll go anywhere and I'll do anything. There's one fear, however, I've never been able to conquer, and that is my fear of heights. Don't make me jump off a tree, don't make me abseil, and definitely don't make me jump out of a plane. So take a wild guess what I'm going to be doing today. You think it, I'll say it. I'm an idiot. We're just outside Polokwane. We've got a perfect day, blue skies, no wind. What makes this the ideal venue for skydiving? We've got a beautiful runway. We've got beautiful blue skies. It's perfect weather at this time of year. We get nice altitude here. We're not interrupted by airspace. It's wonderful. I'm going to be completely honest with you. Um, I'm so nervous right now. What can I expect from today? We're going to take one of these two turbine Atlas Angels behind us. We're going to climb to 12,000 feet. You're going to free fall for about 35 to 45 seconds, attached to one of our highly experienced standard masters. And as an extra special surprise for you, we've got this uh, guy, Olaf Zipsa. He's a 20,000 jump boy. He's come over here to support the, the ranch boogie, and he's going to come and fly around with us as well in, in free fall. Now, we're going to be jumping for a good cause. What is that cause all about? It's a Skydive for Rhinos campaign. We're looking to raise 10 million rand by taking a minimum of 448 people on a tandem skydive. It's symbolic of uh, that's how many rhinos were poached last year in South Africa. And the funds being raised go for African Conservation Trust Skydive for Rhinos Fund. And it's on a national basis. So we started in Rustenburg last weekend. We're at the ranch now. Next weekend we're in KZN. We go to Port Elizabeth and then down to Cape Town. And the highlight is then on the 22nd of September, which is World Rhino Day. For some, the pinnacle of this lifestyle is flying in a wing suit and daredevil Ruan Vivier just happens to have one. Hey Yanis, you're busy packing your shoot. Uh, well I'm rigging up my wingsuit. Wingsuit? Birdman suit, bat suit, squirrel suit. So what does it do? Uh, let's get you into it then I'll explain. In the 1930s a generation of birdmen took to the air in homemade suits of whalebone, wood and canvas. Flying into the statistics books with a fatality rate of over 90%. It wasn't until the mid-90s that the wingsuit would be taken seriously again, when a Frenchman called Patrick de Gaillardon applied ram air technology to the suit so it would inflate like a rigid wing. Safety and performance levels shot up, and a small group of expert skydivers have become hooked. How does the wingsuit work? Okay, well, spread your arms and your legs. Okay. Point your toes. Point my toes. Roll your shoulders. Okay. I can feel how the whole suit tightens up. So now you're flying. That's what wing seating is about. Tuning your body perfectly. Almost like a ballerina to get the perfect glide. Okay. And what happens is air enters these inlets. And the whole wing inflates. It's got these cells or channels. So you're flying. And now the trick is you've got all this material. And it's very, very responsive to the wind. Yeah. And you can't just bring back one arm and open your parachute because no. you go into a spin. Yeah. So symmetrically you bring your breath back. Yeah. And you feel the little handle over there. Yes, I feel it. And throw it up. Wow. <laughs> That's it. Now what else, what's happening is this thing catches the wind and that pulls out the main parachute. This is called a pilot. Okay, so that goes up, pulls out the main parachute. Now what I want to know is describe the feeling to me because I'm not going to be jumping out in the suit. I know with skydiving you're falling straight down, but with a wingsuit you're going straight down but also forward. A good wingsuit trial with a big enough wingsuit can easily get a glide radius of about one to three. One down, three forward. And now you're covering about five to ten kilometers in given flight. So we plan for this and that's the other side of the fun. You can't just exit at any point. You need to steer clear of other parachutists. You need to plan for the other planes in the air and then you'll make it back to your landing zone. Now as, as much as I love the Jaybird, the wingsuit, I'm not even over my fear of skydiving yet, so unfortunately I'm not ready yet. Well, you have to keep in mind this is an advanced discipline of skydiving. Uh, skydivers and fly wingsuits have a certain level of experience typical at least 200 skydives. So the way to get into this is to go to your local drop zone, jump as much as possible and just have fun and then eventually you build up to wingsuit flying. Have fun. Have fun. Okay, that's the plan. That's been Olaf Zipser's plan all his life. Amongst the most influential skydiving pioneers of the last 30 years, he's seen as the father of modern sky flying and more a bird than a man. Jeez, what a great jump. What a great jump. I have to for you. You guys came How in so you? quickly. Yes, eh? we have fast parachutes. Yeah. Ah, we can fly up to 100 kilometers per hour. You're one of the absolute legends of the sport. What is it that you like so much about jumping out of a plane? Well, it's the freedom of uh, possibility in the sky. We are not limited to up, down, left and right. We have a big range of speed. We can go from 100 miles per hour to like more than 400 miles per hour. It's breathtaking. <laughs> it's wonderful. 
the sport has developed so quickly. I mean, you guys are doing wingsuiting now. How far can you actually take it? Well, we're going to take it into space. Okay. <laughs> Tell me more. <laughs> my, my project in the moment is called uh, Free Fly Astronaut Project. And uh, we want to learn of how to rescue people from space. So if there's in the future a space emergency, they will come back just like you see us. But this is a special suit, of course. You guys are absolutely crazy. That's all I can say. Now, we're going up in the next plane together. Uh -huh. uh, we're going to jump together. Mm -hmm. Are you going to show me some special tricks? I hope so. Yes. <laughs> I look forward to it. All right. Thanks, Mike. <laughs> thanks a lot. Looking at the way you've been kitted out, there must be so many tricks you can get up to. In a wingsuit, we cover quite a lot of distance. Um, for example, back in 2005, a group of Spanish uh, flyers flew across the Strait of Gibraltar, 20.4 kilometers over open ocean. And then there is, for instance, proximity flying, which is taking a wingsuit into a base jumping environment, jumping it off a cliff and flying right next to the side of the cliff. And you get that real intense sense of speed. And coincidentally, one of the most skilled proximity flyers in the world is a South African called Julian Bull. And for the last Transformer movie, he was the guy flying with a massive 3D rig strapped to his head in between buildings, filming these wingsuit flyers as they're going around the corners, navigating the streets and landing in the hairy spots. And no one had ever done something to that scale before. And some people attach themselves to a rocket, like Olaf. <laughs> I can't speak for Olaf, I just speak for myself. <laughs> okay, I think I'm ready. Peer pressure gets a lot of bad press, but it can also push you to making a great leap forward. And Yerez felt this was the right kind of pressure. Once you get in the plane, you really feel like this is it. You're in the moment. There's no turning back. If Olaf came all the way around the world to save our rhinos, then Yerez could do this one jump at least. The skydiving symposium down below was about to welcome its newest delegate from 12,000 feet up. When those doors open, boom, it's happening. You're on. And then you, you're falling and it takes you like two or three seconds to realize what's going on, where you are, like find your position, legs back, arms out. Olaf was right below us. He was like smiling at me, peace sign, doing some twirls in the air. Tandem jump taken here got them closer to their target of raising 10 million rand for rhino conservation. So Yanez committed himself to getting others airborne just as soon as he had landed safely. What a rush! That was incredible. What a beautiful jump as well, man. Seriously beautiful well jump. Thanks, guys. <laughs> well, you, my yeah. man. Well done, Rick. That is the most exhilarating experience of my life. And for all of you people who are sitting on your couch watching this, I just have to tell you, you have to go to your nearest skydiving club and do this. It is unbelievable. To answer the question, am I still scared of heights? Yes, of course I am. But I can officially call myself a skydiver. And apparently chicks dig that. <laughs>